What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. Let's bring this journey home. I have to admit, you were quite the man. Who, me? <laughs> I guess not. Anyway... You haven't seen Viceroy Saruf, have you? He failed to show at an important event. Made us look like fools. Maybe he wouldn't have, if you'd spent some money on that set. Ah, you're probably right. Rich kids do like things just so. Still got results, though, even without him. Resistance elements are more fired up than ever. You know, Glenn, I'm on to you. This war is nothing but a ploy to distract me from Sephiroth. <laughs> How very astute. Regardless, the plan is already in motion. Our promised land will become reality. Our father's dream, accomplished by his son. I want the real thing, not some imitation. <laughs> but an imitation's all you deserve. like old times. <laughs> so I thought that was like his manipulation was only to to cloud or people with like the the s cells so it looks like he can they're all just little puppets he can control too real. Just as worlds unite, so too do they part. <laughs> but who's to say they can't unite again?
is it just a wee bit higher? Screw you, cat! How's this? Nice catch! So, what Aerith actually do, anyway? Well? And with that, we are cleared for takeoff! <laughs> Finally! Yeah, this just looks like Aerith's back with the gang again, but everyone... I guess we're seeing it from Cloud's eyes, because she's not there from Yuffie's perspective. It's not fair. Yeah, one sec. Whoa, whoa, what? He just fused it into his sword? You have to promise not to look up. Don't look up. Well, now I gotta look. Fine, but don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me? It's not real. Just an illusion. Now let's go get Sephiroth. He's hiding up north. North? Trust me, he is. Soldier's intuition. Oh, yeah? Better hope you're right. <laughs> trust you just remember we got everything riding on this and that's a load you'd best be ready to carry no heavy loads we're close to capacity as it is don't worry about me I can handle it Take care. You gonna be okay getting back? And if I said I wasn't? <laughs> Don't worry. It's like a second home. I guess. But what if... What if something happens? Then I'll send up smoke. Thanks. I'll keep an eye out. I'll put everything I've got into my prayers. I'll stop the meteor. And I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck. Aerith. I will stop Sephiroth. Trust me. You promise? Promise. Streets 
Damn. Oh man, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> um Yeah, that ending is is all over the place. So like Aerith's I guess she's she's dead, but because she's you know part of the live stream, she's still around. And I guess she's just ascended or something, because she's talking about how she's gonna keep praying. The thing that doesn't make any sense to me, though, is like, we, we watched it. She... Cloud blocked Sephiroth. He didn't stab her. And then it's like, oh, alternate reality, I stabbed her, so she's gonna die in this one, too. Like, the reality where, you know, we're playing, where everyone is, she wasn't stabbed. And then, on top of that, the whole, like, hey, we're suddenly in the forest. Did everyone just jump down the hole to, to follow them? And just, I don't know, the the end is all over the place here. I can already tell people are going to be very, uh, very divisive over it. Because, like, on one hand, Aerith has still died. On the other, not really. She's still here, which is, is weird. Um, but honestly, I mean, for me at least, this game, I think, is, like, the perfect example of... It's about the journey, not the destination. Because, like, that ending is... is I'm, I mean, more than anything, I'm just confused. Uh, but I still had an absolute blast playing this game. I had someone telling me, uh, they're like, oh, well, you know, you can't review it until you beat it. I'm like, no, no, I, I think I will. I'm at nearly 100 hours played right now. I'll do my review before beating it just fine. Um, and I, I still think I stand by what I said in the initial review. Like, even putting aside the, the confusion the end brought me, this was still absolutely phenomenal game. Uh, so talking about various elements, the combat changes, and how those ramped up from Remake were superb. The synergy skills, the synergy abilities, the baseline chat class changes, like Cloud being able to aerial chase, Tifa being able to aerial chase, those were huge, because, you know, they're melee focused and you always felt useless against aerial enemies. Uh, so, combat out here is just a phenomenal upgrade over the past game. Uh, the, the world obviously significantly better being able to explore and go to to multiple locales now compared to where everything was centered in Midgar still stand by that uh, the the very last zone definitely threw me for a loop with the uh, the gravity and whatnot but I think that was a pretty cool way to do the the temple I ended up enjoying that quite a bit um, character interactions were way better this time, especially because the whole gang was together. You weren't being like, okay, play as Aerith, okay, now play as Cloud, okay, now play as Tifa. Like, there were little bits of that here and there, but for the most part, you had the party together, or at minimum, a, a three-person grouping of the party. So I think the game gave you a lot more time to kind of just play with the characters you wanted and enjoy the game in the way you wanted to. You know, obviously I was going back and forth trying out different characters quite a lot. Uh, I think... If I had to pick one, I think Yuffie would probably be my MVP here. Just uh, especially once we got her her final ability. I didn't even do the the MP one, but the other one being able to you know build up and then do a huge elemental nuke that was that was very satisfying. I liked that a lot. That was super good. Um, on top of that, you know, just really good in melee, really good at range. Like just an incredibly superior character, to be honest. Uh, but even then, I don't think the other characters were bad. Uh, Barrett obviously felt very, very straightforward, but he was just pumping massive amounts of stagger and damage out. Cloud obviously countering the entire world with his attacks was fantastic. Tifa being able to boost the stagger gauge past 300% is, you know, obviously solidifies her as this queen of stagger. Uh, the only one that, that really... I guess I, initially I was like, oh, Barrett's kind of vanilla to play, but I think Red would actually be the one that, that really stood out to me as the the one at the end. Because he has crazy strong skills, but I'm not a giant fan of 
vengeance mode. I like the idea a lot, but the whole, like, I need to sit here and I need to let something hit me to, like, really get going on my abilities. Wasn't really vibing with that all that much. I'm going to play him a little bit more in post game and see if I can, if I can, uh, you know, maybe I'm supposed to use the, the timed ability to get, like, a perfect, perfectly timed block for vengeance mode. And that will super build it up fast. I think that's probably what I'm supposed to do versus, like, sitting there and just blocking and being like, I'm, I'm hit me. Come on, hit me. I'm going to do stuff. If you hit me, I'm going to do stuff. Um, Kate said there was a lot of fun to play. Obviously, they took him away partway through, and we got him back now, but the, the RNG of him was a lot of fun. <laughs> just running around, throwing out dice, and then buffing people, and then putting, like, stop on the enemy, and just, that was, that was crazy. Uh, just to quickly touch on the, the timeline fuckery, it's definitely all over the place. Um, you know, I mean, the, the, by the end, it was clear, like, there's essentially multiple worlds going on. There's probably, like, four, five, six different worlds. Because uh, at first, I thought it was, like, just two, but we saw three different scamps, I think, throughout. So, at minimum, there was three we saw. I'm surprised Cloud didn't have the, like, full realization that, like, hey, I'm not Zack yet. I figured that was going to happen. And it's like he remembered who Zack is, but... He, I don't know. He didn't have that 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 breakdown, which that's that's one thing from the original game that's just not here. So after Cloud takes down Aerith in the original, he basically is like just catatonic for a hot minute, and just you know, just, uh, Sephiroth controlled me, blah blah blah. So that's obviously changed, and I'm kind of glad it has. I think they, you know, I don't think it it really would have been good from a gameplay perspective. Like, let's take your MC and make him just a potato for the next like three hours so i think that's a good change and i am still interested though in in the very end there because like so he didn't have his mental breakdown it seems like he had basically broken free of sephiroth's suggestion but then we had the whole end with the black materia and it fusing in the sword and you know for a split second it was like maybe there's still a little bit of sephiroth going on in there and Definitely confusing. Like, the the ending of the game is very, very confusing. But, I mean, God, at the same time, dude, the game itself was phenomenal. I had so much fun playing it and going through it and, you know, seeing all these areas that I grew up with and these bosses that I grew up with, seeing them done up how they are now was just a phenomenal experience. Uh, music, obviously, is top tier. It's Final Fantasy. Music is always top tier in these games. Sound design was crispy and good. Bugs were minimal. We had that one weird bug with with a uh, red 13 where he was like almost lagging. Uh, but besides that, I mean, I had had a you know, I would still stand by that this is an easy five out of five. I had a phenomenal time playing this, and uh, I think it's going to be a pretty pretty strong contender when game of the year comes around. I mean, obviously we have we have Dragon's Dogma 2 coming up and Rise of the Ronin and Elden Ring DLC this year that was announced. So it's it's an absolutely stacked year for gamers. Like there's I'm going to be staying busy. And so far, man, we've had some some good bangers. Um, let me skip credits. I want to see what happens after. Confluence of Worlds. Chapter selection and hard difficulty are now available. Access system chapter selection to replay any chapter from the beginning using current stats, weapons, and materia. You can also adjust your quest completion status for a real challenge. Switch a chapter's difficulty to hard while playing on this setting. Items cannot be used and rest spots only recover from HP. Ooh, it definitely does sound hard. Uh, accessible via system. This play log shows your achievements throughout the story and battle. Gold Saucer Companion Selection. When selecting chapters 8 or 12 from chapter selection, you can pick any character with a close enough relationship to Cloud to accompany him in the Gold Saucer. Meeting certain requirements, such as completing all Proto Relic Salvaging quests, will unlock unique combat challenges featuring Sephiroth and Zack. That's really cool. Uh, Chocobo Ranches now have changing booths, so we can alter parties. Red and Kate Sith Loveless costumes are available for purchase at the Gold Saucer. I'm going to pick those up. Uh, you cannot leave the main menu at this time. You may now replay any chapter from the beginning by accessing chapter selection via main menu. Be advised that if you return to the title screen without first saving your game data, you'll be unable to use this data in subsequent playthroughs. 
return to the title screen without first saving your game data. Maybe unable to use this. Okay, well let's go ahead and, and get a get a save. Playing a portion of the game via chapter selection will return you to the start of the chosen chapter. Everything will carry over. You can also now choose how to carry over your quest data. Note that any odd jobs you have yet to complete will automatically reset. When you select a chapter, you can be given an option to play it on hard. Be warned that you cannot change this setting once you begin. Certain manuscripts can only be obtained on hard. I want to be at like the start of 13, I think. Or if he sort of is all hands on deck in his effort to reach the temple. Because I want to do like, you know, back to the saucer and free room type stuff. Let me see. Let me, let me start this. I'm going to stick on dynamic and see if I can leave or if I'm already locked in. So I don't really want to be at the start of chapter 12. But like the other stuff that I want to do, like the saucer and all that. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, this is Northern Voyage is this is this is perfect. This is right where I want to be. Yeah, so we have our one side quest that we didn't do. We have that stuff which we didn't do. I want to finish the Queen's Blood, but I don't know where the final guy in Junon is. That never showed up. Which that that is that is bothering me. I absolutely want to to see the conclusion of of Queen's Blood, but I don't know, man. We we went all over the place. Is there something over here? Maybe. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna take take a look here. Let me. We're gonna go around. Like it doesn't make sense that I can't find this person, unless it was during during the part where Cloud is playing as a uh, as the captain, and I just somehow missed them in the town. But I think I would have seen them, you know. We're just gonna head on over that way and see if maybe something pops up. I did not spend all those hours playing Queen's Blood to not take down. The queen. Oh, I forgot there's this spot right over here. Yeah, that was the first pirate treasure. We're not docking. Keep going. If I go here, I'm gonna check stuff for. Wait, no. Wait, do I have? Hang on, do I not have Kate Sith right now, or do I have him? Let me see. Uh, combat settings. No shit, I don't have Kate Sith here. Well, fuck, I, wanna, I might want to do a different chapter. I might want to do the start of chapter 12 then. Because I want I want to have Kate Sith to play with him as well. You could definitely fit there, but you're not. This would be the, the start of chapter 12 before the... Uh, No, I can't go that way. Um, shit, hang on. Let me go to system, chapter. Yeah, retain current. So that should keep the quests in progress, I think. Fast travel is unavailable.
Okay, I still got that on the map. I do not have the one quest, the coral quest. But I have Gilgamesh's quest up still. But I do have Kate. Hmm. I wonder, let me go to... Let me see something here. Play log. Queen's blood cards collected. Only 120 out of 145? So I missed... Oh, the Coral Minecart. If I had given given him his choice, that would have worked. Costa del Sol beach fight partner. I don't remember that. Gold Saucer Queen's Blood rematch. Maybe that's the... Uh, oh, I'm missing. No. 3D brawler match. Is that all happen in post-game? Oh. Cool. <laughs> How did I go the whole fucking game without realizing that? <laughs> 96 hours! Oh god. <laughs> oh, that's, that's fucking embarrassing. Um, let me see something. Uh, certain manuscripts can only be obtained on a hard. Alright, we're gonna go... Hang on, I want to... I just want to look at Junon, bro. It's it's driving me insane that it says I'm missing somebody in Junon to play cards with. I do not know where they are at. Those two got check marks. So I think that's... I'm pretty sure that's the person I'm missing to, like, advance story as well. And I figured it was going to be, like, some post-game shit that was going to pop up, but... Where? Like, we can't go over here. We tried exploring that, we can't go there, like, it doesn't... It doesn't... The only thing that makes sense... Is that it's in the city somehow. Like, it had to have been someone that I missed that was... In the city, but I ran around, I collected everyone, I don't know how. I don't know how, and it's driving me insane. Ah! All right, I'm going to wrap up. Um, if I find it, we're going to have an episode that's literally just dedicated to me bringing Queed's blood to a close. Um, otherwise, I mean, this could be... Oh, this is cool. Extra, hold on. Extra settings. Skip Zach's story interlude. Material auto-collect. Oh, fuck yeah. Turn on. Chapter 8, Companion. Chapter 12, Companion. Chapter 12, Date Event Conclusion. Intimate Standard. I wonder if, if that's the... Others. I know my buddy said he got a bunch of, like, a bunch of people showed up to the date. But it had like Kate Sith, Red, Vincent, and Sid were all there. And it was just a big old shit show. Which sounds hilarious and I want to see it. Yeah, this is the problem. The one person I'm missing is who I need to progress the quest. I need to defeat one player and they're in Junon and I don't know where. Where could they be? Let me, let me think. Let me think. 
Don't need to see any of that. I mean, it has to be somewhere that I haven't discovered. Let me just, just, no, you know what, let me, let me wrap up. Let's wrap up for the finale. I'm not going to waste time with me running around. Um, let's test this. So do I just run near it and it just vacuums? That's very nice. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to run around this fucking map. I'm going to figure out where that final card game is and I will catch you all then. So stay tuned. I'll see you probably next time. If I don't, see you soon with Dragon's Dogma 2 or Rise of the Ronin, one of them.